guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Today I'm not in my usual setting as you can probably see. We are indeed at the beach today giving you my WWE SummerSlam 2020 predictions video. Let's get right into it. Okay, so coming in first, we have the United States Championship match between Apollo Crews and MVP. The Hurt Business will not be at ringside, they are banned. So for this one, I've got Apollo Crews retaining. Next up, we have Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville in a hair versus hair match. The loser has to shave their head. Uh, both of these being women, it does make it very, very interesting. However, I have got Sonya Deville losing. I don't think there's any way in hell that Mandy Rose will be shaving her head. Uh, but Sonya Deville, you know, she's got that sort of uh, tough character that if she shaved her head, it would look kind of cool. So I've got Sonya Deville losing, Mandy Rose winning. Next up, we have the only tag team championship match on the SummerSlam card, the Street Profits defending their Raw Tag Team Championships against Andrade and Angel Garza with Zelina Vega at ringside. Now, the Street Profits won the Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania this year. They've been holding them for a while and they haven't really done anything with them. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Andrade and Angel Garza to win. Next up, we have the first of the back-to-back -back title challenges for Asuka. First off, taking Sasha Banks on for the Raw Women's Championship. Sasha Banks versus Asuka. I've got Sasha Banks retaining. Okay, that brings us to the second challenge for Asuka. This one, I believe, is going to be a title change. I have got Bailey losing the SmackDown Women's Championship to Asuka. So Asuka's just beaten Sasha. It might go, you know, Bailey first, Sasha second, I don't know. Uh, but I've got Asuka winning the SmackDown Women's Championship. Cool. So next up we have the street fight between the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, taking on Dominic Mysterio, the son of Rey Mysterio, in his WWE debut. Now Rey Mysterio made his debut at SummerSlam 2002. 18 years later, his son makes his debut at SummerSlam as well. And I have got Dominic Mysterio winning. Obviously, Ray will be in the corner uh, of um, Dominic. So I've got him pretty much, he's going to get involved. Come on, I mean, I mean, Rollins injured his eye, took out his eye in the eye versus eye match. Ray's definitely going to get involved. I think double 619, big splash off the top. Dominic Mysterio wins in his debut. Next up, we have the Universal Championship match. The brand new bald Braun Strowman taking on the fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, we've seen him take on Funhouse Bray and he won. Eater of Worlds Bray and he lost. And now it's time for Braun Strowman to fight the fiend and he is going to lose. The fiend's championship reign was cut short at the beginning of this year. And there's no way that I see Braun retaining at SummerSlam. Bray Wyatt, the fiend, is going to be your new Universal Champion. Now, coming in at the main event of SummerSlam, we have the WWE Championship match between the current champion, Drew McIntyre, and the challenger, the Viper, the newly reinvented legend killer, Randy Orton. Now, Randy Orton has been punting legends and beating them up for weeks. He took out Michaels, Flair. He's taken out everyone. I've got him winning. As much as it's gonna seem like, no, maybe he shouldn't win. No, I've got Randy Orton winning, and the reason behind that is quite simple. Drew McIntyre was robbed of his WrestleMania moment this year. He won the Royal Rumble. Yes, he faced Brock. Yes, he won the title at WrestleMania, but it wasn't really WrestleMania, was it? There wasn't any fans in the attendance, so I think what's going to happen is Randy's going to win the championship, go on to feud with Edge. Hopefully, hopefully Edge can win the WWE Championship. Do you know how insane that would be? But then Randy and Edge fight for the title. You know, it all builds up to next year's WrestleMania where Drew McIntyre wins it at Mania once again, this time getting his moment. Now, before I end this video, ladies and gents, I just want to say that this was filmed on the final Raw, the night after the final Raw before SummerSlam. Any matches that are added on, on SmackDown, I will not see. So I will just add in the comment section of this video what I think is going to happen. But yeah, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. This has been my SummerSlam re uh, predictions video. I'm going to try my best to do reactions videos videos but the, uh, the internet connection up here is not great uh, so this is going to be a struggle getting this out so we'll see about reactions fingers crossed I'm going to try uh, but they might be a bit delayed but we'll see anyways I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling you guys have been awesome please be sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one